in this video we will discuss the problem seal in bst so the so the problem says that will be given a binary search tree and will be given another number x and we have to find the seal of x okay so what do we mean by seal of x so if i say that i have to find the seal of 14 okay let's suppose the numbers that i have suppose we talk about some array and we have some numbers suppose the numbers are like 11 then 10 is also present then let's say 12 is also present so what is seal okay what is seal so it says that seal is a number that is either equal to x okay so if suppose i had in this array i had number 14 then the seal of 14 would have been 14 okay but suppose if 14 is not present then so the definition says that seal of x is a number that is either equal to x or is immediately greater than x so this means that seal of a particular number is nothing but the smallest value that is just greater than x so in this case i can observe that in the array that i have the seal for 14 will be minus 1 because there will be no seal possible but suppose in place of these elements if i had the elements like 16 then i had 17 and i had let's say 18 and then 20 okay so will my seal be 20 no my seal would be nothing but 16 because seal is what seal is the immediate greater element than x okay if x is not present exactly if, x, if 14 is not present then out of the given data the smallest value that is just greater than x that will be taken okay so that is what seal is so basically it will be given a binary search tree and what is a binary search tree so we know that in a binary search tree the left child is lesser than the than the root value okay and the right child is greater is greater than the root value okay this is what a binary search tree means and this is true for all the nodes of the given tree so what will be given is will be given a binary search tree and we have to find the seal of a given value x so let us discuss this uh, first test case and see what happens here so if we will discuss this particular test case here which has been given to us so the test case looks like 5 then 1 then 7 and 1 is connected to 2 then 2 is connected to 3 okay so this is how the overall tree looks like and we have been given x is equal to 3 here so if we have been given x is equal to 3 so you have to find the seal for 3 so what we will be doing is first of all we will say that okay we will have our current root okay and current root will uh, current will start from the root node of the tree so current will point here okay so current points at 5 so i will check so what is the situation i will initially mark the answer as minus 1 and then what we will do is like is the current value greater than the x yes the current value is greater than x current value is 5 which is greater than 3 so i'll say that okay let us update my answer so in my answer i'll update it with the current value so the current data is 5 so i'll update it and then should i move to the right side no because what i want is i want the smallest value that is just greater than x so i'll try to search for a smaller value if 5 is greater than x then i'll try to search for a smaller value in that case if i want a smaller value than 5 then i should if i'm currently standing at 5 and i want a smaller value than 5 so i should move to the left child of 5 okay the moment i move to the left child of 5 so i get 1 okay so the current uh, node that i am at its value is 1 so it is lesser than me so if i go to a particular node whose value is lesser in that case i'll i'll try to go towards the right side of that particular node so i'll go to the right child so i go to 2 is 2 lesser than x yes it is lesser than x so 2 is not greater or equal to x so since 2 is lesser than x so i'll again go to the right child so we go to the right child so we go to this 3 the moment we go to this particular 3 so is this 3 uh, greater or equal to x yes it is exactly equal to x so my answer will get updated to 3 then what will happen uh, i will try to go to the right side so when i go to the right side so i'll encounter a null and the moment my current points to null then i stop and my answer is showing 3 so actually this bst had a value 3 so that is why my answer would be 3 because uh, the smallest value that is greater or equal to 3 is nothing but 3 here okay because 3 was present as a data in the given bst let us take the second example as well to understand things better so if we have a look at the second example that has been given here so in the second example they have been given uh, they have given us a tree and they have given us a binary search tree in which x value is equal to 6 so suppose if we talk about this particular tree so we'll have 10 then the left child is 5 then 11 then here we have 4 then we have 7 and we have another value as 8 okay 
if these values are given to us so if we have if we have to find for x is equal to 6 suppose so what we'll do is we'll start with the current node and initially we'll mark the answer as minus 1 then what will happen is the current node data greater than the x yes it is greater than the x so i'll simply store it in my answer so answer will get updated to the current root data which will be nothing but 10 and then if the current root data is greater so i'll move to the left child because i want smallest value that is greater or equal to x so when i move to this node 5 then it is lesser than 6 so that means i'll move to the right child okay so the moment i move to the right child so i'll move to 7 so i will say that 7 is greater than 6 so we'll update this answer to 7 okay because we are getting a like immediate value that is just greater than 6 now if we have got a value that is greater than 6 so we will try to move to the left child and when we move to the left child so current becomes null and that that point we stop so we can see that answer is 7 and for x is equal to 6 the seal value in this bst is nothing but 7 so now let us try and implement the code for this particular approach here so what we will be doing here is we will say that if the root value is null in that case we will simply return minus 1 because if there is no if there is no uh, root if there is no node present then the, obviously the seal will not be present and it would be minus 1 otherwise what we will do is we will say that we need to have node a star current so we ne need to have a current node which will be pointing initially to the root node of the tree and we will have an answer as well okay which can we can initialize to minus 1 initially then we will iterate until the current node is not equal to null so while the current node is not equal to null okay till that point of time we'll keep on iterating and what we'll check is if it happens that the current uh, roots data right if the current node that i'm at if its data is greater or equal to the uh, the given value let's say the the input value okay that is x if it is greater or equal to if the current data is greater or equal to the input value then we will simply say that in the answer we'll first of all store the current data we'll update our answer with the current data and then since the current data is greater than the greater equal to the input data so i'll move to the left child so we will say that current is equal to current's left so we'll simply move to the left child okay otherwise if the current data is less is lesser than the input in that case we need to move to the right child so we'll say that current is equal to current's right that is what we will do and after we have done these computations then we will terminate when the current points to null and it will store the answer so you will simply uh, return the answer that we have calculated up till now let us try and compile this code okay so it seems to work on the samples let us submit this as well so you can see that our solution was able to pass all the test cases now talking about the time complexity of this code so since we are iterating through the tree so the time complexity will be nothing but order of height of tree and the space complexity will also be like since we are not using any extra, extra space here so the space complexity will be order of one thank you in case if you understood this explanation so make sure to hit the like button